How to retire in Mexico. Retirement, in general, can be an exciting time in your life. Retirement to an exotic place like Mexico can be downright amazing. An increasing number of Americans, Canadians, and Europeans have decided to retire to Mexico for a variety of reasons. The housing market is reasonable, the scenery is amazing, prices for day-to-day -day food items are inexpensive, and the health care is excellent. But before you pack your bags and head off to spend your retirement years in Mexico, consider the following steps first. Putting all the legal details in order. Consider if you need to hire a relocation consultant or specialist. Moving between countries can be complicated, and there's no need to learn all the details on your own. Relocation consultants or specialists exist that can help you with all the details your personal situation requires. Do keep in mind, however, that hiring a consultant or specialist will add to your retirement expenses, but in the long run, it may be money well spent. To find a consultant or specialist, start with a search on the internet. You can use sites like Google or Yelp to read reviews and ratings from previous customers to determine if a particular consultant or specialist would be recommended. Word-of-mouth referrals are also a great way to find someone. If you know other people who have retired to Mexico already, ask them to recommend a consultant or specialist that they had a good experience with. Some consultants offer fixed-fee services where they'll only spend a specific amount of time on your situation and complete a specific list of items. If you need more help, or have a lot of questions, the cost for a consultant may be more expensive. To find a consultant or specialist, start with a search on the internet. You can use sites like Google or Yelp to read reviews and ratings from previous customers to determine if a particular consultant or specialist would be recommended. Word-of-mouth referrals are also a great way to find someone. If you know other people who have retired to Mexico already, ask them to recommend a consultant or specialist that they had a good experience with. Some consultants offer fixed fee services where they'll only spend a specific amount of time on your situation and complete a specific list of items. If you need more help, or have a lot of questions, the cost for a consultant may be more expensive. Assess your finances. The cost to retire is different for everyone and depends on a number of individual factors such as, the type of accommodation you want to live in, whether you want to hire service companies to do housework or yard work for you, how much you want to dine out and what types of entertainment you want to enjoy, and so on. While it may seem cheaper, based on stereotypes, to retire in Mexico, that is not always the reality. You can approach your finances from two perspectives. Perspective 1. Review your retirement savings to determine how much money you have to spend on an annual basis. Then, work to find a lifestyle in Mexico that falls within this budget. Perspective 2. Research how much everything will cost you to retire in Mexico rent, utilities, food, insurance, etc. and then determine how much money you need every year to live that lifestyle. If you find that your retirement savings aren't enough to meet your estimated expenses, you can either continue to work until you've saved enough money, or you can look for alternatives that are less expensive. Don't forget to also budget for possible emergencies, especially if those emergencies will require you to travel back to your home country on short notice. You can approach your finances from two perspectives. Perspective 1. Review your retirement savings to determine how much money you have to spend on an annual basis. Then, work to find a lifestyle in Mexico that falls within this budget. Perspective 2. Research how much everything will cost you to retire in Mexico rent, utilities, food, insurance, etc. and then determine how much money you need every year to live that lifestyle. Perspective 1. Review your retirement savings to determine how much money you have to spend on an annual basis. Then, work to find a lifestyle in Mexico that falls within this budget. Perspective 2. Research how much everything will cost you to retire in Mexico rent, utilities, food, insurance, etc. and then determine how much money you need every year to live that lifestyle. If you find that your retirement savings aren't enough to meet your estimated expenses, you can either continue to work until you've saved enough money, or you can look for alternatives that are less expensive. Don't forget to also budget for possible emergencies, especially if those emergencies will require you to travel back to your home country on short notice. Know your tax situation for living in Mexico. Depending on your financial situation, you may want to hire an accountant or tax specialist to help you prepare your taxes. One thing you need to consider is double taxation. If you have any kind of income including investment income in your home country, you will need to determine if you need to pay tax in both countries, or only one. Mexico does have double taxation agreements with countries like the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Ireland, and some other European countries. If your home country has a double taxation agreement with Mexico, you will only have to pay tax in one country. Your tax specialist or accountant will help you determine in which country you should pay your taxes. Keep in mind that tax laws are constantly changing and you need to keep yourself up to date. You may also need to enlist the help of an accountant in Mexico to assist you with Mexican tax rules and regulations. 
Mexico does have double taxation agreements with countries like the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Ireland, and some other European countries. If your home country has a double taxation agreement with Mexico, you will only have to pay tax in one country. Your tax specialist or accountant will help you determine in which country you should pay your taxes. Keep in mind that tax laws are constantly changing and you need to keep yourself up to date. You may also need to enlist the help of an accountant in Mexico to assist you with Mexican tax rules and regulations. Determine if you want to apply for an immigrant or non-immigrant permit. Mexico has both immigrant and non-immigrant permits for foreigners. Immigrant permits are for foreigners who wish to live long-term in Mexico. Non-immigrant permits are for foreigners visiting Mexico for a limited period of time. You will need to decide which permit is best for you. You may also wish to consult an immigration expert before you make a decision. Review the qualifications for a non-immigrant permit. There are two types of non-immigrant permits. One permit, called the Vistante, is for foreigners staying in Mexico for six months or less. The other permit, called the Visa de Residente Temporal, is for foreigners who want to live in Mexico for longer than six months but less than four years. The Vistante cannot be renewed and must be applied for in person when you arrive in Mexico. The Visa de Residente Temporal can be renewed, but only for a maximum of four years. It must be applied for before you arrive in Mexico. The Vistante cannot be renewed and must be applied for in person when you arrive in Mexico. The Visa de Residente Temporal can be renewed, but only for a maximum of four years. It must be applied for before you arrive in Mexico. Understand the qualifications for the immigrant permit. Immigrant permits, also known as the Visa de Residente Permanente, are intended for foreigners who want to live permanently in Mexico. In order to qualify for this type of via, you need to meet one of the following criteria. You must have close family connections in Mexico, or you must apply for retirement status and show you have enough money to sustain yourself in Mexico, or you've had a temporary resident status for four years already, or you've had a temporary resident status for at least two years due to marrying a Mexican citizen or permanent resident, or you've been granted residency because of humanitarian grounds or because of political asylum. A new points systems was introduced in 2016 that will determine your eligibility. Information about this point system will eventually be available online. You must have close family connections in Mexico, or you must apply for retirement status and show you have enough money to sustain yourself in Mexico, or you've had a temporary resident status for four years already, or you've had a temporary resident status for at least two years due to marrying a Mexican citizen or permanent resident, or you've been granted residency because of humanitarian grounds or because of political asylum. A new points systems was introduced in 2016 that will determine your eligibility. Information about this point system will eventually be available online. Know the details of your health care coverage in Mexico. If you have health or dental insurance in the United States or Canada including government-funded health care, it is unlikely that you will be able to take advantage of it while living in Mexico. All medical facilities in Mexico are private and medical care usually needs to be paid in full at the time of service. It is important that you obtain the proper type of health insurance to cover anyone living in Mexico. Health insurance coverage may be more difficult to obtain, and more expensive, after you turn 65. However this is generally the same in most countries, not just Mexico. Shop around for Mexican health insurance and obtain multiple quotes before making a final decision. Make sure your health insurance is in place before you cross the border into Mexico. If you need medical care after you've entered Mexico, but before you've purchased insurance, an insurance plan will not cover the costs retroactively. Note that permanent residents of Mexico i.e. foreigners who have the Visa de Residente Permanente can have their healthcare subsidized by the Mexican government, which will make it much more affordable than the U.S. Health insurance coverage may be more difficult to obtain, and more expensive, after you turn 65. However this is generally the same in most countries, not just Mexico. Shop around for Mexican health insurance and obtain multiple quotes before making a final decision. Make sure your health insurance is in place before you cross the border into Mexico. If you need medical care after you've entered Mexico, but before you've purchased insurance, an insurance plan will not cover the costs retroactively. Note that permanent residents of Mexico i.e. foreigners who have the Visa de Residente Permanente can have their health care subsidized by the Mexican government, which will make it much more affordable than the U.S. Enroll in Mexico's Retirement Benefits Program. Mexico offers a retirement savings program for those who are 60 years of age or older and those who have a permanent resident visa i.e. the Visa de Residente Permanente. 
Enrolling in this program will provide you with a number of discounts on things like doctor and dentist visits, hospital visits, medical lab work, prescription drug, cultural activities, transportation, and hotels. If you qualify for this program, sign up as soon as you can so you can enjoy the associated benefits. Open a Mexican bank account. The banking system in Mexico has improved significantly over the last decade and internet banking is now widely available. It is a good idea to open a bank account in Mexico, but also to keep a bank account in your home country if regulations allow. Note that the process to open a new bank account at a Mexican bank is quite involved and may take a while. Don't expect to drop into a bank for a few minutes in order to open a new account. The majority of Mexicans still prefer to do their banking in the branch with a teller. This means that at certain times on certain days the line at the bank can be rather long. Note that the process to open a new bank account at a Mexican bank is quite involved and may take a while. Don't expect to drop into a bank for a few minutes in order to open a new account. The majority of Mexicans still prefer to do their banking in the branch with a teller. This means that at certain times on certain days the line at the bank can be rather long.